Do you want an edge on your sports book? We know that you do. And that's why we're here. Welcome to the only daily sports betting podcast powered by Sportsline that's in your feed every single day before 11 a.m. And we do it in 10 minutes or less. Now, as we evolve the show, as we change, we're going to try new things. So today we're going three wide. That's right. Three of the best cappers in the game. So let's bring them in right now. You see them in your bottom left. Tom Fernelli. Yesterday, Tommy, you gave us the Wolves plus 450, and we took it straight to the pay window. Yeah, it was uh we were we were pretty lucky there. Not lucky, but fortunate, I would say, to get Wolves to come on late, finish those two goals in the last 20 minutes. It felt good. It did feel good because Zach Simony is right next to you. Brother, you were on the right two games last night, and for some reason we have this bad beat cloud over our heads, but today's another day. Yeah, don't get me started on those two games. We don't have enough time to discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, you the, he's like the godfather for us here at the early edge. He's the maestro, Larry Hartstein. And Larry, we need your mojo today more than ever. Let's do it, coach. All right. A lot of college hoops. It's a college hoops heavy day. Let's bring in the first game on the board now. And this is a good one. Butler at Villanova, minus 12 and a half for Nova. The total at 131 and a half. This according to our really good friends at William Hill. Seven Eastern tip on FS1. Zach, I want to start with you. Well, everything for my evaluation of this game has to do with Butler's inaction. They've been off since November 25th. That's a span of 21 days. So they haven't had a chance to have the tune-up games that uh, Villanova has had before conference play. So this makes it an easy play for Villanova, right? Not exactly. If it was that easy, we would be uh, making easy selections every day. But I just look at Villanova. They have a style of basketball right now where they're not putting teams away. Three of their wins were between 9 and 13 points. Another win was just by four points. So I think it, it's, it floats around that number, but it stays under for Butler. Yeah, I, I think that that layoff that you're mentioning is definitely affecting the line here and it's affecting the way people are betting it because it's moved to 13. I've Personally, I have this game at a 10. And one of the big reasons is neither of these teams is ever in a hurry on offense. Uh, Butler ranks 323rd in the country in tempo, according to Ken Palm, and Nova's even slower at 350th. These are two offenses that like to get into half court sets, take their time and look for the best shot and not just rush down the court to, you know, get an early shot. So that's going to limit possessions and limited possessions typically makes it harder to blow teams away. So I see 13 points and I see a good Butler team. I want those points. All right, so both of you guys are on uh, Butler, one of my favorite branded segments of the show, the Larry Lean. Larry, which way are you leaning on this game? I got to lean Butler. We don't, we don't really know much about this team. They've only played once, and it was three weeks ago, but Nova's still a little inflated. Uh, they've been, last at the end of last year, a terrible bet at home, and, and this year they haven't really covered that well. They were laying a similar number to BC and only one by nine, so I will lean Nova. All right. So I mean, Lane Butler, excuse me. That's all right. I knew what you meant. I was going to cover you. All three guys are on Butler. A quick reminder, we're in the holiday season, right? So uh, if you haven't opened an account at Sportsline, we've got a deal of a lifetime for you. All you got to do, go open an account, use a promo code EDGE, and you'll get 30 days for free. we got college bowl season, NFL, playoffs. We've got the start of the NBA season. We've got it all covered. Best cappers, Sportsline.com, the Sportsline app. Do it right now. Use the promo code EDGE. Okay, next game on the board, Ohio State at Purdue. Let's go Big Ten. Purdue minus four and a half. The total, 134 and a half, seven Eastern on the Big Ten Network. Tommy, give it to me. Yeah, you know, I I think this is going to be a really close game. These are two similar teams. Ohio State's been a little bit better offensively, but they've done it against a a weaker schedule than what Purdue has faced to this point. But what I do like about Ohio Ohio State is a lot of times we see teams that play weak non-conference schedules and play all the games at home, and then they go in their first game on the road, and they're kind of get blitzed. We saw it with Minnesota against Illinois last night, a 6-0 team that suddenly lost by 30-something points. But Ohio State has played a game on the road, and it was its toughest game so far against Notre Dame. It came through with the win, and I look at this particular matchup, and I think Purdue's had some trouble guarding the interior. It's giving up some easy baskets around the rim, and I think Ohio State could take advantage of that in this matchup. So I think it's going to be a close game. I want to take the points with the Buckeyes. And on this one, Tom, I'm going to be opposite of you. You did mention Ohio State. They've had a fairly weak non-conference schedule, and that's one of the reasons why I'll side with Purdue and follow the line movement for Purdue minus four and a half. Look, Ohio State, they're ranked in the top 25, and Purdue is. But I think you look back to last year, Purdue had one road loss that was by more than single digits. It came at Ohio State, a 78-62 loss. I think they're going to have revenge on their minds tonight. 
one thing I want to look at in this game is just Purdue t- is turning the ball over at a really alarming rate over 15 a game and Ohio state will get up and, and pressure them. I think that could be the difference. I don't have a strong play, but I would lean to the Buckeyes. All right. So a couple leaning towards Ohio state, other Purdue now it should be noted. Uh, our sports slide simulation model grades the over in this game as a B play hitting 68% of the time. So use that. Uh, for your information as well. Okay, next game up on the board. How about this one? Duke on the road, minus four at Notre Dame. The total, 146, 9 Eastern on ESPN. I'm anxious to see you guys' pick in this one. Uh, Zach, let's start with you. I'm going to side with Notre Dame getting the plus four at home. I just don't see Duke turning it around from what we've seen from Coach K past teams. This team just doesn't have it. So there's immense pressure on the Blue Devils coaching staff and the players. And you talk about the players. Wendell Moore Jr., an important player for Duke, just one for 18 his last three games. I just think you look at Mike Bray. He's an elite coach, and they're going to have the target on Duke tonight. Yeah, I'm more comfortable attacking the total in this one. Although I, I do agree with you, Zach, on a lot of what you said. But I also I just look at the game here and I see, you know, there's no Jalen Johnson for Duke. He's been the focal point of their offense. And they really have not looked like the typical Duke teams that we're used to seeing. So I'm going to go with the under just because I do think Duke's offense is going to struggle to find a rhythm and figure things out without him. And then I look at Notre Dame's offense and they're more battle tested. They've played some tough games. It's just I feel like offensively they've been a bit too reliant on the three pointer. And I think they're shooting a little bit over their skis and they're bound to regress a little bit from there. So I I think this is going to be a lower game than this or lower scoring game than the total suggests. Yeah, I got to agree with you guys. Duke's offense is really not playing well, and they haven't covered any games this year. They're just consistently underperforming. They have destroyed Notre Dame last time out and have beaten them six straight times, which is, I think, why we see this number, but I don't think it's justified. I would lean Notre Dame. All right. So a couple of hours uh, and Tommy likes the under. Don't forget, we have video on YouTube. We have audio on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Enable those alerts, though. You never know. We're going to drop in new information, new shows into your feed. All right. We're also going to start our best bets uh, today. So every single day it could be a game uh, already on the board for us or could be any other game in the universe, whatever the capper wants. Uh, Quickly, uh, Zach, I'll start with you. You have Butler and Tommy also uh, Butler is your best bets today. Why is that quickly? Yeah, I'll go go with Butler just based on the inaction, uh, 21 days off and uh, they're going to be able to hold tough tonight. I believe just Villanova doesn't put teams away. Like I said, three games between this nine and 13 point range that they've won by. Tommy. Yeah. And to go along with that time off thing, you know, I've seen in college football this year, teams that have had extra time off because of games being canceled or postponed are killing it against the spread. So it's going to be interesting to see if that kind of trend follows into college basketball as well. Larry, what do you have today? I'm going to fade the Omaha Mavericks. Uh, it worked for me when we played them against Kansas. We played Kansas and they beat Omaha by 45. Colorado's laying 21 and a half. Colorado is a very good defensive team. And this is only the second game that they've had their full roster. They look great in their first in their last game when they had their full team back. And I just think it's a blowout tonight. Uh, I don't think uh, Omaha is going to get to the 50s. Interesting. You don't think Omaha is going to get to the fifties. All right. Uh, so Colorado for Larry on his best bet. All right. We've got about 30 seconds left in the show. Tommy, and also a new segment, kick it with Tom. Give me something you like today on the pitch. Oh, we are fading Arsenal for the foreseeable future. This is a team that, you know, the odds makers still treat as if it's a good team, but it is bad and it has been bad all year. And the last four times that it's been a favorite, it hasn't won a single match. It's had one draw and three losses today. We're fading it again as a favorite with Southampton. It's just our Southampton's the better team and Arsenal's favored. And I don't understand why. Okay. Well, we're taking Southampton plus the two twenty-five. All right. Time for our quick recap. Here's what it looks like across the board. We went three wide today. Everybody, Zach, Tommy, and Larry on Butler, Ohio state and Purdue. We had Larry and Tommy leaning towards Ohio state. Zach, like the Boilermakers minus four and a half Uh, Duke and Notre Dame. Zach's on the Irish. Tommy likes the under and Larry, you lean towards the Irish too. I should point out on the sports line app, we have two expert picks there. They are both on the Irish plus four and a half. And with our best bets, Zach and Tommy, you both like Butler is your best bet. And Tom or Larry's going off the board, Colorado minus 21 and a half over Nebraska, Omaha. And on the pitch, Southampton plus 225 uh, at Arsenal. That game starts at 1 Eastern on NBC Sports Network. See how much more we got in the show today? That's why we evolved. That's why we changed. We're doing it just for you. That's going to do it for us, for Zach, for Tom. 
for the maestro, Larry Harstein, and our wonderful producer who puts it all together, Jacob. I am the coach. Remember, this is the only place for your daily early edge.